I think the luxury car tax does need uh, reforming. Uh, it's a, 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 a fascinating debate in a way because we've got we've got a two-tiered mm. system for the luxury car tax. There's a lower threshold um, if the car is fuel efficient, but it's a bit complicated. But they've been indexed at different rates over the years, so the gap in the advantage has been shrinking, and the the benefit of having a fuel efficient car has been diminishing. And I've seen the Electric Vehicles Council come out today and say that luxury car tax should be abolished for electric vehicles. That makes sense. The government's got this electric vehicle strategy coming up. Um, now is the time to reform, not scrap the luxury car tax, um, get in place a better indexation system and widen that gap to allow an incentive for fuel efficient vehicles and remove the luxury car tax from electric vehicles. Australia has um, some of the least efficient cars in the OECD. The government's been sitting on fuel efficiency standards since 2015 and the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister mm. for Transport is not moving on them. So I actually think this debate is a chance to um, uh, join the dots between the government's supposed electric vehicle strategy coming. We've got uh, emissions from the transport sector, carbon emissions rising, and one of the, uh, one of the problem areas in reducing Australia's emissions. Okay. So don't scrap the well, luxury car tax. Just, it's a progressive okay, tax, just, obviously. Just on EVs, but reform it and put in place if I can ask you about that, Ben O'Connor. Just on EVs saying mm. remove it there altogether, isn't there a problem right now with doing that? Because if you take the average electric vehicle, it's running um, almost predominantly on coal-fired power effectively. So do you need to wait to do that? No, I, I think a lot of electric, uh, electric uh, vehicles are using renewable energy. Uh, and you've also got to remember that the, the new Only energy... Only if it's a home with their own rooftop the solar though, right? Is the point there. Yeah. But you've got to remember the new the new energy that's being uh, built um, to supply the grid now is renewable energy. All the new build is coming from renewables. Uh, there's not going to be a new coal mm. fire plant built, despite um, some of the National Party's attempts to uh, subsidise one in Collinsville. And the new energy is going to come from uh, renewables. So I think uh, over time we've got to electrify right. the the grid. And I, I, I think the time has come for a big reform in this area. It's something that the Treasurer, the Deputy Prime Minister, should grab. One last thing. We've done some research into yeah. this. We've got coming up. I'll give you a sneak preview. 58% of the population are back dumping the luxury car tax from electric vehicles, so it'd be popular too. All right. Well, there you go. We get our first look at that research.